We'll get you out right away. Setting off the smoke machine was a very dangerous thing to do. And all of this could have been avoided if you just danced with Lily. I'm sorry. I'll go and dance with Lily now. Norman dance? Yes, of course. Hey, Elvis. Time for our big lift. Turn out like I planned. Billy Star, that's my cake. Bingo! Looks like we found him. Get ready to go in, Helen. Roger that, Tom. Don't worry, James. Everything is going to be all right. Are you hurt? Um, no. I don't think so. Hang on tightly, James. We're going to get you out of here. I've got him, Penny. Take us up. Roger that, Helen. Hold us steady, Tom. He's not injured, Sam, but be careful driving him back. He's had quite enough excitement for one day. Roger that, Helen. And don't worry, I'll remember the fizzy pop. Well done, Pioneers. And a nice effort at bandaging. I did that! It was very good that you learnt lots of things from your book, James. But you forgot what it said on the first page. Happy birthday, James. Love from your sister, Sarah. Uh, no, not, not that. Maybe the next page? Uh, contents? No, James, not that one either. Oh, here it is. Always keep calm. Yep, yeah, yes, that's it, James. Always keep calm. Do you want me to drive you back to Pontypandy in the ambulance, Trevor? Maybe it might be best if I drive, Elvis. <laughs> and I'll give you a few lessons on the way. Oh, OK, Helen. <gasps> But can I drink the fizzy pop this time? <laughs> Sarah, if you can hear me, pick up the handset. Sarah, do you read me? I can hear you, Uncle Sam. Uh, loud and clear. Help is on the way, but the tide is coming in and you need to make yourself safe until we get there. Listen carefully. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. Uh, uh, roger that, Uncle Sam. OK, Sarah. Once you have taken off your seatbelt, roll down the window and get out of the car. Remember, seatbelt, window, out. I've got it, Uncle Sam. Seatbelt, window, out. Uh, seatbelt, window, out. That's it, Sarah. Don't worry, Sarah. I've got you. I'm glad everyone is safe and sound, Sam, but our drills didn't exactly go as planned. And I didn't get any good footage for my ocean rescue epic. I think you might actually have the best ocean rescue epic ever, sir. 
Everyone's body cams were still on when we rescued Sarah. I know you didn't do it on purpose, Sarah, but you need to be really careful when you're inside a car and never touch any of the controls. Sorry, Penny. I don't suppose we'll ever get to see the new Flex Dexter movie now. I wouldn't worry about that, James. I know an even better movie you can see instead. Welcome to the premiere of our new promotional video. Introducing our new action hero and star of the silver screen, Elvis Critlington. I'm the king of the world! <laughs> oh no, uh, not this version! We're on it! Come on, guys. Stay low and let's get you out. Let's get this fire under control. You two blast the main blaze before it spreads. I'll tackle the smaller fires. house, Sam. What's your situation? Everything's under control here, Penny. I'm so sorry. I rushed the assembly of my pyrotechnic launch module 2000 and I didn't have time for the final safety check. No, it's my fault for being so impatient, Dad. I should have given you more time. It would have been worth the wait. Well, however good it was, the safest way to enjoy fireworks is at an organised public display. But we've missed that now. Oh, no, you haven't. If you hurry, you may just catch the start. <gasps> can we go, Dad? Of course we can. Great. I will get to see two displays after all. And hopefully, these fireworks will be where they belong. <laughs> Up in the sky. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. They're nearly as good as yours, Dad. <laughs> We need you all to move back for your own safety. Thank you. Okay, team. Looks like we've got a burning wood oven, a gas canister, and an electric microwave. I'll disconnect the microwave. And I'll keep that gas canister cool. to sticky foam. Roger that, Ellie. The fire's spreading. I'm on it, Sam. It looks like the source of the blaze was this wood-fired oven. Um, sorry, Sam. That was our oven. I may have been in a bit too much of a hurry. <laughs> uh. That was James's fault. He kept rushing Dad. No, I didn't. You did. Well, whoever it was, you need to remember that you have to be very careful when cooking outside, especially when you're using a real fire. Sorry, sorry. Ellie. I see. Quidlington. Quidlington, have you found any leftover pizza? Not a single slicer. Oh, that's very disappointing. No more pizza today. But who fancies fish and chips? Excellent! <laughs> Ooh, jackpot. Snack for the journey, Elvis. Uh, I think I'll wait for my fish and chips, sir. Sarah and Nipper. I'll tackle the fire. 
I can't see Sarah and Nipper. I'm going to check the basement. Roger that, Sam. Sarah! Sarah! I'm here, Uncle Sam! Oh, Sarah, we need to leave. And I can't find Nipper! Don't worry, Sarah, we'll find him. But right now, I have to get you out of here. The fire's out, Sam! I couldn't find Nipper anywhere. <laughs> What is yeah. it, Curl? Go, show me. Why is Shadow sniffing Nipper's toy? She's trying to find him for you. She's concerned about the smoke. Lead radar. <laughs> That's it. Follow. <laughs> what a team. <laughs> Sarah, you have to keep a very close eye on dogs and make sure that you always know where they are. Lizzie's checked the dogs over and they're all fine. Oh, Nipper, I'm so glad you're safe. All thanks to Radar and Shadow. <coughs> <gasps> you see, James? I told you I would teach Nipper at least one trick. High five! <laughs> <laughs> I have visual. Transmitting coordinates now. I'm going down. Grab hold of this! Ben, get Titan to Bonty Pandy Island fast, or we'll have a massive fire on our hands. On my way! But I've got no one to operate the water cannons. Leave it to me. I've got just the firefighter for the job. was close. I'm really sorry, Penny. I pushed the Joe Jet's controls right up to the max. This is all my fault. Well, Hannah, I think it's best if you don't tinker with grown-ups' inventions. Especially if it's one of your dad's. Aye. So, it looks like your police helicopter will be a perfect fit with the rest of the team. It certainly feels like that, Sam. What? Get off, you floppy bounder! Uh, are you all right, sir? Yeah, but one second. Get, get, get. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Hang on, Sam. We are coming to help. Hilo, whoa! Come on, Hilo. Let's try this way. Sam, take this! Get ready, Mandy. I'm coming across. Ready, Sergeant Ravani! Kilo, this way. Ah, thanks, Sergeant Ravani, and thank you, Kilo. I'm sorry. I was trying to find the Ponty Pandy Pansy. I know I shouldn't have wandered off. I told them we should head back, Uncle Sam. I'm sure you did, James. And Mandy, you should never climb a hill like that without the correct equipment and supervision. 
I'm sorry, it's my fault, Fireman Sam. I should have been paying attention. I got distracted taking my photo for the Wall of Fame. Oh, I knew you wouldn't finish that list, Mandy. I did actually, Norman. I saw the Ponty Pandy Pansy when Sam and Kilo were rescuing me. Well then, we'd better take your photo for the wall. Yes! But I never would have got that photo without you and Kilo, Fireman Sam. Maybe you could be in it too. Oh, I always knew we'd become the best of friends. <laughs> <laughs> No sign of them yet, Penny. Nothing from up here. Oh, it's such a big area. Hey! I'm here! Over here! Over here! Hang on. I see something. What is it, Sergeant Trevani? I found him. It's James. But I can't land to rescue him. It's nesting season, and I don't want to upset the birds. Sam, can you go? Neptune won't be able to get in there. Roger that, Penny. Juno is made for this. Uncle Sam! I'm over here! James! Careful, Uncle Sam. There's a very grumpy bird here. Don't worry, James. We'll get you out of here in no time. Then she can have the island all to herself. Hold on, James. I'm sorry I went out on the water by myself, Uncle Sam. You need to be extra careful when you are on or near the water, James. And you should always have an adult with you. Well, that's enough paddle boarding for me. You can have as many goes as you like now, Sarah. Thanks, James. Wait. Is that the paddle board? Um... James! Hey, James! Guess what? We had a tour of the Ocean Rescue Centre! And we saw the whole team in action! That's brilliant! But I got to ride on Juno! What? But that's not fair! You can't do that at the Newtown Pirate Museum! I'm on my way! Here comes Bessie! Everyone take cover! Ellie, Penny, you take the pump cans! Roger that, Sam. Roger that, Sam! Bucket of water coming up. That is one big bucket. I'm sorry. I'm afraid it was our seaweed candles that started the fire. I know, Bronwyn. Norman told everyone. Uh... And a forest is not really a place for candles. I promise that if we do another whale song forest retreat, we'll use battery ones instead. Oh, I'm not sure I want to do another whale song forest retreat. That was possibly one of the most unrelaxing experiences I've ever had. Well, Agent Price, it looks like we solved the mystery of the beast of Ponty Panty Mountain. We did it, Agent Sparks, and it turned out to be a whale.
Gillis, Trevor, what's it like in there? Oh, it's getting very snug and warm in here. Why don't you take your scarf off, Trevor? <laughs> no. Help! Norman? Sarah and James are trapped on the lake and the ice is melting! I'll call Fireman Sam. And now it's time for the most totally brilliant piece of winter rescue equipment ever! Sarah and James are stuck on the frozen lake and the ice is melting. Sarah and James are stuck on the frozen lake. Don't worry, you two. Fireman Sam is on his way. Elvis, go back. I'm so cold. Don't let go, James. This penny, it's an inflatable rescue path! Ooh! Whoa! Tie it to the end of the jetty penny, then hold it steady. Sarah! James! It's okay! We're coming to get you! Done! It's going to sink! Don't panic! I'm here! Three smoke signals. That means an emergency. The pioneers must be in trouble on the island. I'd better call Fireman Sam. <laughs> No Sam in here. Now I can write my speech. There's an SOS coming from Pontypandy Island. Penny, take Neptune to the island and make sure the pioneers are safe. Right you are, Sam. for making the smoke signals. You're the best explorer here. We might even have time for sausages while help is on its way. But I'm the best explorer and I'm going to prove it. I'm going to send the biggest smoke signals ever. No, Norman, stop. says that uh, in the event of an island fire to uh, move away to the shore. Oh, yes. Well done, James. Now, life vests on everyone. There they are. Oh, no. I'm going to need some help. That's right, Sam. You check on the tea. Nothing going on in here. It's from Penny. There's a forest fire on Ponty Pandy Island. Elvis, we're going to need Titan. Penny, 
Take Neptune and collect the skiff. Let's move in. Ready, Elvis? Ready, Sam. Ben, we need to move along the island and fast. It's very dark. It's got to be dark for the really scary sleepover story. Cool. This is going to be the best sleepover ever. So, what's the scary sleepover story, Norman? It's called... Bo -bo -bo -bo, the Fog of Doom. Oh, once upon a time, there was a really scary person who lived in a really scary... A potato. No, no, let me think, let me think. N no, uh, wait, I've got it. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, no, it can't be that. Uh... He's been guessing for an hour now, Sam. Mm hmm. Would you like a clue, sir? Oh, yes, cooking idea. You are something you wear, sir. I've got it, I've got it. Yes? yes? No, no, it's gone again. person pulled a really scary face. Will the fog of doom actually come into the story at any point, Norman? What? This is so boring. It's the scariest story ever. Oh no, look, it's the fog of doom. Don't be silly, James. That's not fog, that's smoke. Oh, and it's coming from my sandwich. Got it? I know what I am! It'll have to wait, I'm afraid, sir. There's a fire at the Flood's house. There's a fire at the Flood's house! What are you all doing out of bed? <laughs> it's in the kitchen, Sam! Penny, you shut off the electricity. OK, Sam. I'll make sure everyone's all right. Error, 100%. everyone fire oh this is a dramatic twist i didn't see that coming no no this is not part of the show it listen to me everybody we need to evacuate the area <laughs> the mountain activity center is on fire and my show is in ruins the Mountain Activity Center is on fire and Station Officer Steele's show is in ruins. Stand clear, everyone. Move away from the fire. <laughs> Over here, Gridlington! It won't reach, sir! The hose is too short! Right, there's only one thing for it. We'll have to do it like the old days. Everyone, find a bucket. We need to make a line from the lake. Okay, team. 
We need to make sure the area is clear. Roger that, Sam. Tom. Tom, we've got a fire at the Mountain Activity Center. We need Wallaby 2. Roger that, Sam. Just like we did in the show. Pass, pass, pass. 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 Pass,
They're not just lost, Sam. They're in a tricky spot. I'll use the winch. Can you get me any closer, Tom? I can't, Sam. We're too near the rock face. We need to find a safe place where I can reach you. What are you doing, little sheep? Showing you the way to safety. If you get up there, we'll be able to reach you. Come on, Lily. Thank you, sheep. Got you, Lily. I'll be back for you in a second, Sarah. Hold on. Your turn, Sarah. I'll drop you back on the mountain top, Sam. No need, Tom. I'll make my own way up. Gah. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, ants. Oh, they're crawling up my leg. Ah, oh, I've got ants in my pants. Can he be? We've looked everywhere. Look! Found you! Ow! Ants in my pants! There we are. The sausages are ready. Yeah. What's that? Out of here! That log sounds like my Norman. Look out, Dillis! Oh, oh Trevor. You saved my life. Ah! Uh, the heat I've done cheek. Norman, my precious boy. What's happened to you? Trevor! The camping stool! Oh my! I think I better call Fireman Sam. There we are. Perfect. Ugh. Solid as a rock. Well done, you two. Oh, and not a moment too soon. There's a forest fire and Trevor, Guinness and the children are trapped. There's a forest fire and Trevor, Guinness and the children are trapped. Got a forest fire. We're going to need you, Tom. On my way. Don't panic. I'm a volunteer firefighter, you know. Oh, Trevor, you are so brave. Shall we use the sticky foam, Sam? No, Elvis. Just water for this one. Get it into position to drop water. Over. Thanks, Tom. Looks like we have the fire under control now. No problem, mate. There. Whoopsie. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Bad luck, Derek. <laughs> this is rubbish. I'm going to find a much bigger record to break. Not before I do. <gasps> Baked beans. Of course. That's it! A bathtub. Of course they're 
That's it! James, Sarah, over here, quick! Hi, Derek. What's happening? I need your help with this old bathtub. But quickly, I'll explain on the way. That doesn't look very safe, Norman. I'm fine, Mandy. Start the stopwatch. I'm going to beat the baked bean can squatting record. That'll show silly old Derek. <laughs> OK. Oh, you really think you can get the world record for riding furthest in a bathtub? That's the plan. It looks scary. Right. Give me a push. A big push. Oh, hey! Quiddith Book of Records, here I go! How am I doing? Another 20 seconds, and the world record is yours. Yes! <laughs> Only five seconds to go. Oh, 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 oh. Look out! Oh. Ah! What? Don't just stand there, Mandy. Start the stopwatch. I'm going for the bridge dangling record. Norman Price! What are you doing up there? Get down now! But, Mum, I'm trying to break a record! You'll break every bone in your body! I'm going to call Fireman Sam! <laughs> Norman Price is dangling dangerously from a bridge. Saved by the bell? Norman Price is dangling dangerously from a bridge! Right there, they pass us. Help is on its way. I can't hang on much longer, ma'am. <laughs> hurry, Sam, hurry. My Norman is dangling by a finger. Hold on, Norman. You're safe now, Norman. Whoa! <laughs> ah, what the grizzly? Ah. <laughs> ah, I'm fine. No need to. Whoa! Ah, ah! Moose! Ah. Moose! Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. But I can't seem to move. I'm stuck between a rock and uh, another rock. Hey, don't worry. I, uh, I have my walkie-talkie. Oh, no! I hope my fossils aren't broken! We need to get help. How about Grandad? He could call Uncle Sam. It's OK, Moose. We're getting help. Now, what's this about your fossils? James, Sarah, what a lovely surprise. <laughs> There's been an accident. <laughs> Moose has fallen down a ravine and is stuck between two big rocks. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, uh, stay calm. N no need to panic. I'll call Fireman Sam. Oh, I just don't know what's got into Cridlington today. Now he's gone and hidden my helmet. It's almost as if he wants to lose his job. <laughs> Moose Roberts has fallen down a ravine and is stuck between two big rocks. <gasps> I'll call Tom. Come on, Penny. Get you out of here. You 
is no good. I'm stuck fast. Hang on a minute. It's not you that's stuck. It's your rucksack. This should do the trick. Thanks, Sam. Nice job. Finally, my lovely cup of tea. Norman Rice is lost on Ponty Panty Island. Come in, Penny. We have an emergency. Take Neptune to the Ocean Rescue Centre. We'll be ready with Sutton. Over. Right you are, Sam. On our way. Let's hope Saturn can see better than us. Anything? Come on, Saturn. I've got something. Saturn's found Norman on the secluded beach. Hold on! I've got you. Penny! Elvis! Pull us in! Come in, Station Officer Steele. You can call Dillis. Norman Price is safe. Oh, no. Quidlington, what are you doing? You're supposed to be cleaning Jupiter, not your foot. I know, sir, but I finished cleaning Jupiter. <laughs> Can I join in the smoke room training now, sir? Hmm. Wait a minute. There's some soot on Jupiter's bumper. And her headlights. There will be no smoke room training for you, Criddington, until Jupiter is clean. Pristine and gleaming. Hmm. Don't worry, Jupiter. I'll get you some clean water. Dragon! You stay there, Gareth. As I'm the king of dragons, I just want to add some last minute touches. Oh. Once the king of dragons has a fire breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever! Ah, behold! My dragon! Wow! It's amazing! It's great! It's on fire! What? Whoa! Oh. And it's coming towards us! Oh! Oh no! It's rolling towards the station! I think I 
better call Fireman Sam. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. Oh, that's a new one. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Bessie's in that shed. All fires are out, and Bessie is fine, sir. Ooh. Thank you, Sam. Lady Puffle Paws. <laughs> Don't panic! I'll get you! <laughs> oh. Don't worry, Lady Puffle Paws. I have my party party pioneer swimming badge. <laughs> That's Lady Pufflepaws. Come back, Lady Pufflepaws. Come back! Oh, and that's my Norman. We'd better call Fireman Sam. <sighs> there. All balanced. Thanks, Elvis. We'll store the pieces here until we can return them. Sorry, one more piece. <sighs> oh. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. Sausage rolls! Stay calm, we'll find them. I'm launching Saturn now. There he is. Norman, grab on to this. Come in, Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady Pufflepaws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. <laughs> Get ready, Penny. Come in, Elvis. Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, and very licky. Oh, he was about to say who it was. No one is watching the end of the movie until that cat is back in its basket. Fine, I'll get it. Anything to find out who did it. on my nerves. Norman, are you okay? I'm fine. Now, where's the cat gone now? 
Wait, Norman! Don't scare it! I can't catch the cat! I think we have bigger problems! I'll get my dad! Sam, I've had a bit of an accident cleaning your uniform. But I did get rid of the smell. <laughs> Thanks, Elvis. But I think I... Ooh. There is a fire at the Flood's house. Mandy, Hannah and Norman are trapped inside. There's a fire at the Flood's house. Mandy, Hannah and Norman are trapped inside. is on fire! Again! Norman, Mandy, Haga, I need you to keep away from the front door! Ready, Penny? Ready, Sam. Stay back, everyone! <laughs> Take my hand! Keep as low as you can, and I'll guide you through the smoke and out of the house. Walk straight and head towards <laughs> Jupiter's blue flashing lights. Sam! The cat is still in there! OK, Norman, I'll find it. dream that Norman Price threw a flare into the laundry basket and set fire to me house. It wasn't a dream, was it? Norman Price has set off a flare and caused a fire in the Flood's house. Norman Price has set off a flare and caused a fire in the Flood's house. And Ellie. You fight the fire from outside, Penny and I will rescue anyone inside. Right, Tom. <laughs> oh, the door's blocked. Stand back! Oh. Calm down, Norman, it's just me. That sounds like Mandy. You take Norman and Mike out, Penny. I'm going up. Spooky! 
in here. Keep low, Mandy, and stay back from the door. I'm coming in. Oh. You're safe now, Mandy. Right, Arnold. I think it's time for another test run of the Fire Dog 2000. <laughs> Uh, is it just me or does the fire dog look sort of angry? No, nope, not just you. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, it looks like the streets of Ponty Pansy are safe, Sam. We might make that whole month without fires after all. You never know, Ellie. We might just do that. <laughs> <laughs> Job for Atomic Boy! Be careful, James! <laughs> oh no! The biometric identification system seems to be targeting its subjects with hostile intent! Uh, what? It sees people and chases them! <laughs> Atomic Boy! Be careful, Norman! I don't need to be careful. I'm invisible, which means I can wait a minute. You can see me? We can all see you, Norman. What that means... You can see me? Run, Norman! <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I hope they stay away from my cans of petrol. Oh, better call Fireman Sam. Norman Price is being chased by a robotic dog that's on fire. Norman Price is being chased by a robotic dog that's on fire. The Fire, fire dog, dog 2000! This could be a big fire. Better take Jupiter! Penny, we're going to need you! On my way! Keep a safe distance away. Norman Man is doomed! 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 <laughs> 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 you all know Neptune. So that's the tour finished. Where have you been, Cridlington? Oh, sorry, sir. I got a bit um, tied up. Oh, dear. Ooh, it's getting a bit breezy. Will Mike be all right out there? I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh! 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 oh what? Wait! Phew! <laughs> gotcha! Oh! Whoa! Oh, no. I've sat on my button. Uh-oh! Oh! Oh! Get off! Get off, you rocket! Well, they can't be going off yet, James. They are. That's not just the fireworks. Mike's platform is on fire. I'll call Fireman Sam. <laughs> Mike Flood is trapped out at sea on a blazing platform. <laughs> Mike Flood is trapped out at sea on a blazing platform. Ben, you pilot type. Elvis and Penny, you man the water cannons. I'll take you. Platform. 
platform, Ben, but there's no sign of Mike. Maybe he's jumped on the board, Sam. I'll take a look around. I'll hold her steady. Penny, Elvis, you direct the cannons. Cheese. <gasps> and where's my little treasure? Uh, wait! Uh, slow down, cheese! Uh, ah, you're not getting away that easily, cheese! No cheese and no Norman Price. <gasps> I smell trouble. I thought that was the cheese. Um, excuse me, Station Officer Steele, but, um... Norman sent the cheese rolling off the course and ran off after it. That's treacherous terrain out there. Oh, no. My little treasure is lost in the mountains. Ooh. Don't worry, Dillis. We'll find him. But it's quite a wide area. We'd better call Fireman Sam. I'll go and get the helicopter. <laughs> Norman Price is missing in the mountains. Norman Price is missing in the mountains? This would have been the perfect job for Saturn's heat-seeking sensors. But Saturn's broken, oh. Sam. Hmm. Well, if we can't find him by sight, Elvis, perhaps we can find him by smell. you all to myself. Just you and me out here, all alone, on this rocky ledge. Help! If Radar can sniff out the cheese and follow the scent, he'll lead us straight to Norman. Well, I've been holding the cheese all day. My hands really smell of it. Radar, go fetch. Oh. It's okay. I found him, Tom. Norman Price is on the west face. Roger that. Lower the double harness. Safe and sound. Hot! Hot! It's too hot! My poor little old lady mouth! That little old lady's very grumpy, Sam. I know, Elvis. I know. It's so much f f further than I thought it would be. I want to go back to the bus now. Oh, me too. My hands are like blocks of ice. We can't give up. Mandy, remember your Ponty Pandy pioneer training. Always stick to the road. Follow me, everyone. But we'll be there in no time. Mandy! I'm okay, man. I grabbed a tree, but I don't know how much longer I can hang on. <gasps> Hold on. Someone, call Fireman Sam. Better. A blanket with no holes. Soup that's just right. 
in the nice warm office. Well done, team. <laughs> Mad Diff Dad is dangling from a tree over a ravine. <clears throat> Mandy Flood is dangling from a tree over a ravine. Tom, we're going to need you on the Newtown Road. On my way. I'll take Mercury, Elvis and Penny, you take Venus. Elvis, grab your soup. I'll bring hand warmers and blankets. She's down there, Sam! Mandy! It's Fireman Sam! I'm coming to get you! <gasps> Please hurry, Sam. Lower the double harness, Tom! Coming right up. Have to, Mandy. I got you. That's hardly amazing. Ah, still no good. Mandy, that's a petrol lawnmower. Ooh, uh, and that's fertiliser. You know what happens when you mix petrol with fertiliser? What? It, it explodes! Explodes? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We'd better call Fame and Sam. Thank you, Nurse Flood. We really did learn lots about bandaging today. Yes, even if most of the practice was on you, sir. Well, after a busy day like that, I just want to go home and relax in my garden. Oh, oh, uh, uh. The, the flood's garden is on fire and oh, it might explode at any moment. My garden's on fire and might explode at any moment. Come on, team. Get everyone to safety. Okay, Sam. Penny, we're going to need the sticky foam. Okay, Sam. Come on, everyone. Get back behind Jupiter. You'll be safe there. Turn it on, Penny. Heads out, Penny. All safe. Phew. Uh, oh, it's amazing up here. I can see the whole of Ponty Pandy. Ah! 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 What's happening? The bracing's come off. Norman, 
You did screw all the screws in really tight, didn't you? Yes, of course I... Uh, oh, um, whoopsie. Oh. Dad! We need to balance out the weight. Norman, you're going to have to stay in the middle to keep it balanced. Me? Uh, Derek, you go in the middle. You were first up. No, I wasn't. You were first. And you pushed in. Be quiet, you two. No one move or the whole thing might fall. I really don't like tree houses. What are we going to do? There's only one thing we can do. Help! What is it, Nipper? Oh, someone's in trouble. Come on. Help! Help! What's happened, Trevor? The racing's coming apart. We can't move or the whole tree house will fall. I'll go and call Fireman Sam. <laughs> the Punty Pandy Pioneers are stuck in the tree house. <gasps> We'd better hurry. Thanks for the lesson, Tom. I think it might be about to come in very handy. Fireman Sam! Hurry, Uncle Sam! Oh. Quick, screw in the other end of this pole tightly to the tree. It's in tight, Sam. Well, you're all safe now. Anna. Yes, I'm fine. But look what you did. Why can't you ever do anything normal? Why do you have to be so embarrassing? Oh, I'm sorry, lover. I don't mean to embarrass you in front of your friends. But you do. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. I would just like a regular sausage cooked on a regular barbecue with no silly hats involved. All right, Hannah. Look! The bottle! Move back, everyone! It's spreading! Ah! Stop! We're moving towards the cliff! We are trapped! Oh! This time you really do need to call Fireman Sam! Oh no! My battery's flat! Now what are we going to do? We can use my hat! The solar panels have got a power adapter! There! There's a grass fire at the ruins and people are trapped on the cliff! There's a grass fire at the ruins, and people are trapped on the cliff. Oh, Trevor, I'm getting vertication again. Oh. What are we going to do? It's Uncle Sam! Penny, you hosed 
down the grass, we'll get the floppy shovels. Okay, Sam. I hope he gets here soon. Here he is now! Come on, everyone. Let's get you to safety. Elvis, make sure everyone's okay. We need to get this fire under control. Okay, team, ready for action. Norman Price, ace reporter, on the hunt for a big scoop. Oh, well, hello, Norman. Do you want to see my new invention? It's a rocket powered pogo stick. Pogo stick? <laughs> no, thanks, Joe. I'm looking for something exciting and action packed. Wait, a rocket powered pogo stick? That's my scoop. Norman Price, Ace Reporter, reporting from Joe Sparks' garage with a really big scoop. So, Joe, tell the viewers of Ponty Pandy Planet what it is you're doing. Well, today I will be testing my Pogo Master 2000. But first, a word about safety. What? No, no safety, just rockets. I've been reading a fascinating book about combustibility in fuel mixtures. Oh, just fire up the rockets! All in good time, Norman. But first, you need to know the safest rocket fuel mixture is typically 69 to 70% finely ground rocketonium nitroxide, with 16 to 20% unrefined sparksium. This is so boring! Oh, oh, I hope Mandy and Sarah's scoop is as rubbish as this. Oh, no! Mandy and Sarah's scoop looks so action-packed! For the propellant. Now I'm going to show you something really exciting. What? An explosion? No. It's the chart I made of my favourite fuel mixtures. One second, Norman. Oh. No! Oh, no. Sarah and Mandy have got 400 views already. I, um, uh... oh. Scoop Dooley says that if an ace reporter can't find a scoop, they make their own. <laughs> this is going to be the scoopiest scoop ever. Oh, I wonder what this button does. <laughs> Maybe I was a little heavy on the rocketonium nitroxide. Hang on, Norman! I have a visual on Dolly. Get her, Sam. We need to get out fast. They've located Dolly and they're on the way down now. Mountain hero. Oh. And it says you're supposed to wear this hand. Miss. Oh, you've gone. Ah! Slow it down! Ah! Now I'm going round and round and oh! And now I've got to fly up my nose. You need to hold the handles to stop it spinning, Norman. I can't hold one! I think you'd better get Station Officer Steele his cup of tea, Elvis. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, just getting your tea, sir. <laughs> oh, yes. Norman Price has fallen off the zip line of doom and is stuck in a tree. And he's got a fly up his nose. Penny, you take Venus. Helen, you follow behind in the Mountain Rescue Ambulance. I'll go with Tom in Wallaby, too.
Norman! I'm nearly there! At least the fly is out of my nose! Tom, he's fallen into the river. Get me in as close as you can. Roger that, Sam. That's close enough, Tom. I'm going in. <laughs> Sam! Penny, Sam and Norman are in the river. Roger that, Tom. I'll try and intercept them downstream. Sam! Sam! No! Gotcha! <laughs> Too hot. <laughs> water! Water! It burns! Oh, I think they might be. Stand aside! Hey, give me that! <laughs> Red hot chili nibble? Oh. <laughs> Have you any idea what this space is for, Penny? No idea at all, Sam. Ooh, nice bike. Who's that? Wow. <laughs> I want everybody. To give a warm, ponty pandy welcome to our new police officer, PC Malcolm Williams. Hello. Hooray. Hi, everyone. Red hot chili nibble. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Thanks. Hmm, tasty. <laughs> Mamma mia! I think Mum might have made her red hot chili nibbles a bit too red hot. Oh, 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 oh water, <laughs> ice, ah! ice, and water, and, and, and more ice. Um, kids, Mum, this isn't going very well. Water. Don't worry, Mum. We just need to get back to the cafe and make a new batch of red hot chili nibbles with a bit less of the red hot. Oh. Agreed. Right then, Malcolm. Come and meet the team. Ah, Malcolm, this is Helen Flood, Ponty Pandy's nurse. Oh. Hello, you big lemon. You're the big lemon round here. Huh? Uh, um... But don't worry, Sam. This big lemon here is my big sister. Ah, I see. I didn't know you were coming to Ponty Pandy. Well, I got a bit fed up with the big city. Fancied a bit of peace and quiet. Oh, no! Nippo! Uh, is that a dog driving a car? Time to go to work. Welcome to Ponty Pandy, little brother. I'll get the dog if you know how to stop that thing. Roger that, Malcolm. I thought you were taking the cadets on a camping safety trip in the mountains, Station Officer Steele. Uh, yes, but then he had a really good idea that as it was so nice and sunny, we should come to Ponty Pandy Island instead. <laughs> ah, a really good idea indeed. <laughs> but uh, just a teeny bit of a shame that Charlie and I have come here for a quiet weekend. Oh, never fear. The cadets won't be any trouble. I've got a whole list of activities to keep them busy. Right then. Charlie and I will find somewhere uh, out of your way. <laughs> oh, just one thing. Is Penny in charge of the fire station? Affirmative. Oh, good. Well, Ponty Pan is in safe hands then. Station Officer Steel, what does this do? <laughs> Whoa! Actually, with Norman Price here on the island, 
Just how much trouble could there be, Buck and Ponty Pandy? Uh. 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 Don't worry, Wooly. Gotcha. Uh. Take us down, Tom. Uh. Nice work, Penny. Thanks, Arnold. This should do it. The perfect campsite. And it's nice and quiet. <laughs> There's even a creek. I can teach my big brother a few fishing tricks. This way, cadets. Oh, sir, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. Ah, don't worry, sir. We were just, uh, passing through. Right, Charlie? Right, Sam. Now, cadets. This clearing is the perfect safe location to show you how to light a campfire using only flint stones. Now, let's see. You just hit them like this, um, to get a spark. I bet I could do that. I could do it better. Ah, uh, yes. Here we go. <laughs> I hope you're better at putting out fires than you are at lighting them, Station Officer Steele. Uh, yes, well, you get the idea. Now, cadets, back to the beach for a safety training session. We'll need to get some matches from the boat. Hey, come on, cadets, follow me. I bet I can get to fire going before you can. I bet you can't. James, Sarah, come along. I knew you couldn't light a fire. I'd have done it if I'd had a bit more time. Come on then, Wooly. There you go. Got you. Well done, Sam. It wasn't just me, Lizzie. We're a team. Well, I didn't really do anything. You did? I did? Yes! You did a great big belly flop into the mattress. Oh. Come on, Mandy. We can ride the horse to Ponty Pandy Point. We'll easily beat James then. But I can't ride a horse. Neither can I. But how hard can it be? It doesn't even have a saddle. Riding a horse is easy, Mandy. You just have to get on and say giddy up. I've seen it on the telly. Oh, there is no way I am getting on that horse. It's dangerous. There is nothing dangerous about being on this horse. Ah! Well, it looks pretty dangerous to me. using my map. Norman Price is stuck on a horse, which is stuck in some thick, sticky mud. Norman Price is stuck on a horse, which is stuck in some thick, sticky mud. Roger that, sir. Tell Ellie to bring Phoenix and meet us there. It's an animal rescue, so we'll need you to come along too, Lizzie. OK. And I'll need someone else... Arnold. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Ellie, remember to turn your siren off so we don't scare the horse. Ah, go 
Are you sure you don't need some help, sir? I'm fine, sir. You just relax. I'll try, sir. I'll try. So, what do you think, James? Well, I think it's really unfair that you called me round to fix it, but you didn't call me round when you were going to play with it. That's because you are so brilliant at fixing things. Hmm. Glue. Screwdriver. Pliers. That should do it. I said you were brilliant at fixing things. Mm-hmm. And I'll be the one to test it. Well done, James. <laughs> it's going really well. Uh, it may be going really well, but I can't make it stop. The throttle's stuck. Oh, no. If we don't get it back, Uncle Sam won't have a birthday present. Quick, Hannah! Follow that fire engine! Oh! Uh, Sam? <laughs> Sam? Sam? Sam! Whoa! What is it, Elvis? Do you think we should go and help Station Officer Steel? Are you sure you're okay, sir? Oh, yes, yes, thank you, Sam. All fine. Just relax. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Apparently, he's fine. James! I'm trying to be careful! Oh, Sam is going to love his cake! Oh, my! Someone shrunk Jupiter! Oh, oh. when we play castles and kings. And queens, Norman. And queens, yes. But this is the only hat left. I don't even know what it is. It's what brave knights used to wear, James. Isn't that the hat your mum wore to Auntie Phyllis's wedding? What? No, of course it isn't, Sarah. It's a brave knight's hat. Don't listen to her, James. Now, children, I know how much you love playing castles and kings. So, I've made you... A dragon! Oh, a spectacular fire-breathing dragon! I'll be the king of dragons! Yay! It's amazing! No, it's not. It doesn't fly. It's not green. And it doesn't breathe fire! I did do it in a bit of a hurry. Why don't I take it back to the station and find some bits and pieces to make it a bit more, um, dragony? I think I'd better go with you. Oh, all right, Norman. You can help me carry it. Right. I just need to get rid of all this old ash from the last drill before we light the cribs. OK, Sam. Don't worry, Jupiter. I've got a plan to get you clean in record time. Whoa! Sorry, Sam. Don't worry about me, Elvis. I could just wash my face. But I think Jupiter might need another clean. Oh, no. There you are, Missy. You'll be clean, pristine, and gleaming in no time. Hello, Station Officer Steele. Norman Price. What are you doing in Bessie's shed? It's all right, Norris. 
I'm here. No, oh, Gareth, I didn't see you there, as long as he's properly supervised. Have you got anything like a plane engine or a high-powered rocket so the dragon can fly? Well, I've got this old luggage trolley. If it's on wheels, then it might look like it's flying. Hmm. What's all that stuff? That's all the fire lighting equipment we use to light the fire in the steam engine. Wouldn't it be really good at lighting fires in dragons, too? Oh, no. That would be far too dangerous, Norman. Only if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, look! Green paint! The ocean rescue uniforms are lined for warmth in water and brightly coloured so you can be easily seen. And they have a whistle. I love that whistle. <laughs> ah, Sam, just in time. Oh, thanks, Penny. So, let's see how fast you can all change. And go! Good time, everyone. Now, take those off and we'll get back to the station and see how fast you can change into the animal rescue uniforms. Oh. You all right, Elvis? Oh, yes, I'm fine. You go on, I'll catch you up. <coughs> oh. So, we're going to have to work very, very hard. We're going to bake all the extra pizzas the Grandad needs. Sarah! Sarah, can you stop playing Ninja Carrot and start making pizzas? Sorry, James. Yes, James. It's Yes, Chef! James, just checking that everything is going OK with the pizzas. Everything's fine, Grandad. They'll all be ready in time. Uh, James, we still need to cook them. And there's not much room in that oven. <laughs> We've got another oven upstairs. Sarah, take those pizzas up and put them in as quick as you can. That's it. We can't fit any more pizzas in this oven. I've put as many as I can in the upstairs oven, James. Uh, I mean, chef. But there are still loads left. <gasps> There's an oven at my house. Brilliant. So you take the rest and put them in your oven, Hannah. Go, go, go! Uh, yes, chef. Yes, very good. Yeah. Oh, Quidlington. You appear to be wearing an ocean rescue uniform. I am. Um, I can't get out. Oh, stay there then. I might just have the very thing. The animal rescue uniforms are a softer colour, so as not to alarm the animals. And they're made from a material that's very easy to move about in. So, let's see how fast you can change into these. All ready for a walk by the river? Oh, yes. I have my day trip bag, my handbag, and a bag from Phyllis filled with doggy supplies. Ah, ah, right, we're back. Now watch this. Jump in. <coughs> Jump in. <coughs> in. Norman. When you're telling the dog what to do, you should use her name. So you say, jump in. Uh... What's that? Norman, I can't hear you. What's the dog's name? It's Lady Pufflepaws. Oh, Mum, what did you say that for? That name is so embarrassing. <laughs> right -o. I I've put up the new desk. Are you sure it's the one you want? It's very... Oh. 
Mike Flood here. Oh, hello, Charlie. A leaky sump pump. Say no more, Charlie boy. I'm on my way. Uh, morning. What's going on here? Station Officer Steele's gone to Newtown. He's left me in charge of sorting out his new desk. Uh, Penny, have you actually seen Station Officer Steele's new desk? No, why? <laughs> That's brilliant, that is! It's really not. Ooh, so you're having a picnic then? Uh, quick, look! Uh, uh, what's Norman doing? Please do as you're told. This is my chance to show everyone what a super brilliant dog owner I am. Good girl. Now stay. Remember what Sam said. Use her name when telling her what to do. Oh, okay. Stay. Lady Puffle Paw, stay. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> off! I said stay! No! I've got doggy lick on my face now! Maybe he's not ready for a dog of his own. <laughs> no, maybe he's not. Oh, but I really want my own dog. I can't get hold of Mike, so I called the desk company only to find out that I didn't order the super multiplex desk. No, I ordered the super multiplex bed. And now they can't deliver the correct desk for another week. Oh, and the old desk can't be used as it's now a heap of scrap. Don't worry, Penny. I have a plan. Huh? Why do I always get stuck with the little crybaby? No, you don't, Norman. You were with me last time. No! Uh... Get on board, everybody. Uh, i just like to take a quick look under the bonnet, Mrs Chen. No time for that, Trevor. We're already 11 seconds behind schedule. Come on. Oh, right you are. Then, at the end of the film, he says, A man's gonna do what a man's gonna do. Morning, partner. Uh, hello, Elvis. Now, today, we're going to practice rescuing a horse. Good morning, firefighters. Good morning, partner. Partner? Is that the correct form of address to a senior firefighter, Cridlington? No. And get down off that thing at once. Sorry, partner, but I've been Station Officer Steele. And that isn't regulation uniform. Wheels on the bus go round and round all day. Sing up, children. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Chen, the wheels on the bus have stopped going round and round. Hmm. At this rate, we won't have time for the crenellations. Yes! I mean, oh no! The crenel what? These up and down bits are... Oh, never mind that. Can you fix it any faster? You know what they say, Mrs Chen? More haste, less speed. Ha! Looks like we're not going to the boring old ruins after all. Right. I'll just check the accelerator. I'll do it if it'll speed us up. Uh, I'm not sure that... Which one is it? This one here? Yes, but just a gentle tap. Norman Bryce, get back in your seat. I said gentle. Take your foot off. Uh, the pedal won't come back up. I, I haven't reconnected the brakes. And then you tie your guide rope on like this to keep the horse steady. And if you're a cowboy, you have to herd cattle. Excellent loop, Firefighter Morris. Nice turn, Firefighter McKinley. That's James in a runaway go-kart heading for the key. 
James Jones is in a runaway go-kart, heading towards the key. That's what I said. Wow! Amazing rescue, Uncle Sam. You were supposed to hit the boxes. Ah, uh, I may as well be doing all the stunts myself. Perhaps these stunts are getting a bit too spectacular, Norman. I'm sorry, Sam, but don't worry. We've only got one more scene to shoot, and it doesn't involve any danger. I promise. Okay, Norman. Well, good luck. Jake Pond, Super Spy, Scene 57, Showdown in the Villain's Lair. Action! Ah, Mr. Pond, I've been expecting you. Glove fingers, my old foe. Oh, it's a trap! Number two, tie up the prisoner. And double. I don't like movie making. Or being tied to a chair. Stop complaining, James. All you have to do is direct a beam of sunlight through this magnifying glass and burn through the rope. Like this. Simple, right? Um. Oh. Action! Oh. Garage full of burning oil cans. James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. Sorry, Ryan. It's an oil fire, so we'll need the sticky foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Air, 100%. Air, 100%. Hey, Hannah! I just found these fantastic binoculars. Do you want to come to the beach and look at far away things? We could, Norman. But my mum's got a fox. <gasps> A fox? Oh, I know everything about foxes. I'm like, I'm like the fox whisperer. Where is it? Follow me. There he is. Hello, foxy. Did you know that some foxes are just like dogs? Mum says they're wild animals. Not this one. Look at him. Well... He does look like a dog. I wonder what he eats. He'll eat bones just like dogs do. I'll find one. You're going to get some dinner. <gasps> Please don't let that just have happened. Uh, it happened. I found a bone. Where's the fox? I opened the cage and it escaped. That was a silly thing to do. You said it was like a dog. Well, you shouldn't listen to me. Oh, no. If we don't get that fox back in his cage before Mum comes home, we'll be in big Mum trouble. There's a good dog, Radar. I'm just going to listen to your heart, Radar. Stay nice and calm. Sam, <laughs> what's happening with Radar? Uh, Lizzie's giving him a checkup, Elvis. We're trying to keep him calm. Oh, right. Come on, Radar! Stay calm! You can do it, boy! Maybe it's Elvis who needs to stay calm. I'll just have a look in his ears. Oh, the big brave dog is going to get his ears checked. Stay still now, boy. Can you do that? Can't you? 
Elvis, uh, would you like to help with Radar's checkup? Of course I'll help, Sam. I'd do anything to help Radar. Then maybe you could wait outside while Lizzie looks him over. Oh! Uh, all right, Sam. Uh, Penny, are you sure you'll manage without me? We'll manage, Elvis. Here, Foxy, Foxy, Foxy! Foxy! Oh, what if we do find him, Norman? How will we get him back? Easy! I'll scare him back with this pot and spoon, like this! <coughs> Norman, stop! You'll scare him even further away. No, I won't. Oh, look! There he is! <coughs> That's him! Oh, no, he's off again. Where do you think he's going? I bet he's going home. Home? I think they said no, sir. What? Uh, I'll take that, sir. Oh. What is that? Oh, hello, Sarah. I didn't see you behind my enormous bat. So, what do you think? I think it's taking up too much space. My ghost is supposed to be the centerpiece. Your bat's done. Take it down now, James. Ready for your spooky party guests. Yeah! Enjoy the party. Cool bat. Wow. Amazing. It's really big. Thanks. I made it. So, who's ready for some of my monster dancing? <laughs> 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 It's getting in the way of my moves. That is no rubbish. Oh. oh, no. I know it's here somewhere. Uh, uh. There. Oh, it's time to create the ultimate party centerpiece. Sarah's spectacular house of scariness. <laughs> Thanks for taking the toffee apples, Penny. Oh, um, I'll get it. Uh, Elvis, remember, don't cook the toffee for too long or it'll get too hard to use. It needs to be runny. OK, Sam, runny it is. Oh, tasty toffee apples. I can't wait to make you. <laughs> it... Ah, freeze. Not yet, sir. The toffee has to set on the apples. Oh, this waiting is interminable. So, how's it going, Elvis? Um, I think we might need some new toffee. Ah, and a new pan. Wow, Sarah, that's amazing. What's amazing? <laughs> Thanks, I made it. So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah! Anything but uh, make a mummy. But so this game is called In the Tale on the Spooky Cat. Can anyone else smell burning? My house! My bath! Tonight, Firefighter Cridlington is going to be juggling on stage with flaming torches. So it's time for Operation Certain Inferno. Fireman Sam, you'll be leading the line here. Yes, sir. Firefighter Phillips, I want you up here on Jupiter. And Firefighter McKinley, you'll be covering from here. Are we ready? Fireman Sam, standing by, sir. Firefighter Philip, standing by. Firefighter McKinley, standing by. Firefighter Morris, standing by. Wallaby One, standing by. Well, this is relaxing. Right. On with the show. Oh, hello, Ponty Pandy. Well, 
done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> right, all clear, everyone. Back to the station. Well, I just hope that Mike does as well as me. Hello, Ponty Pandy! I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Strum Master 2000. This place I know where the people say hello. Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be. Turn it all the way up, Joe. <laughs> Oh, no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that. Dad, you need to stop! Someone needs to call Fireman Sam! Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury. Ah, oh, it's not fair. Why do I have to help Bella on the day of the big football match? Maybe this won't be so bad after all. Ciao, Norman. Grazie. It's so nice to have a willing helper today. Excuse me, I'm missing the game. No time for a football, Norman. We have customers. Show them to their table, please. Pronto. Oh, name. Bronwyn and Charlie Jones. Do you have a reservation? Uh, no, but... Uh, this way. Ooh, we've got an amazing view of the game from up here. Really? I hadn't noticed. So nice to get away from the Whole Fish Cafe and try something different. Hmm. I'll have the seafood pizza, please. Ah, so many choices. Um, what would you recommend, Norman? I'd recommend you hurry up with your order. This one, love. She's nearly as good a football as I am. <sighs> oh. Here, Sam. I'm open, Elvis. Oh, no. Stop. That's not how you dribble. This is how you dribble. Uh, to me, sir. I'm free, Station Officer Steele. I've got this all under control. Now, Elvis. Watch a carefully, Norman, and you'll be a master chef in a no time. I don't want to be a master chef. I want to watch the football. First, we make a nice and neat circle of bellissimo dough, like this. Next, a nice a big doll of a tasty tomato sauce. And then, a beautiful big handful of mouth-watering mozzarella. Finished! And now I'm free to watch the match. Oh, oh, I hate making pizza. Oh, Sam, over here. Oh, I'm not supposed to do that, am I? No! No, you're not, Elvis. Ugh. Penalty kick to Ponty Pandy United. Get ready for the penalty kick of the century. Oh, oh. No one said anything about bats. Bats are really interesting. They're really scary. I've seen them in films. They chase after people with their flappy wings and batty magic. 
No, they don't. They're peaceful creatures that hang upside down and eat insects. Yuck! Who cares? They're creatures of doom! If you see one, run! Nasty flappy wings and pointy teeth. Well, if I see one, I'm finding out as much about it as I can. <laughs> Hello, Gareth. Still working on that old handcart? Oh, yes. This old thing hasn't been used for nearly a hundred years. It used to travel in and out of the old mines carrying coal and equipment. Driven by human strength alone. <laughs> oh. I'm guessing it needs a bit of work to get it going again. I'd lend you a hand, Gareth, but we've got to get back to the station. I know someone who might be free, though. Hello, Station Officer Steele. Look, stalactites. Rock formations that hang down. Ooh. And listen, can you hear the underground streams? Oh, I haven't seen one bat. Good, I don't want any of that scary bat magic near me. That sounds scary. Oh, magic, Norman. Ah, uh, yes, they are, Mandy. It's a well-known fact that if they flap near you, you turn into a bat. Are we really deep in the mountain, Moose? Nope, there are tunnels that go much deeper than these, but some of them are dangerous, eh? Huh? Right, so let's head back up to the daylight. Stay close together, everyone. Great. We're getting out of here before I get flapped at. A handcart? Oh, I haven't seen one of those in years. She's a proper beauty. Stiff, though. It could do with some expert attention. May I adjust the brake shaft? <gasps> a bat! Oh, it's so cute! can't see. Don't worry, Jimbo. Your eyes aren't used to the light after being in the dark. You'll be able to see soon. When you do, can you tell me if I've been turned into a bat? I'm sure I got flapped down there. Don't be silly, Norman Price. Hang on. Someone's missing. Yeah. Where's Mandy? Oh! I've twisted my wrist. Ow. <laughs> Now send those buckets round from side to side. So wing! Ow! Ow! Oh, my neck! My foot! Uh, dearie me. Oh, I'm calling Nurse Flood. She needs to examine Ellie's foot to see if she's broken anything. <clears throat> um, maybe we should stop now? Shame. I was just getting into my stride. This is going to be amazing! Hang on, where are the oars? They're not here. Is there anything else we could use? Ooh, floppy shovels! They'd be perfect! Oh, watch out, Norman! Now oh, I've lost my paddle! I think I can reach it. Oh, no, now I've lost mine. We're floating away. Only one thing for it. <coughs> What's that? That's Norman and Derek. Oh, dear. Sam, help! We can't get back. Grab hold of the end. Simon, Sam, thank you. You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Uncle Sam, look over there! Oh, no. We have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. Ah, you see, the thing is, we used them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. 
I don't care whose fault it was. If we can't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. No broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you had a warm-up before you started. Well, I... And built up slowly. <laughs> <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on! Where do you think you lot are going? There's no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Um, hello? Hello there. Commander Gary, certified astronaut. Oh, uh, <clears throat> good evening, Commander Gareth. I'm taking the science class to see the northern lights aboard my intergalactic space rocket. What? Oh, the train. The Northern Lights, eh? I hear they look spectacular. Indeed. The Northern Lights are coloured lights that appear in the sky. Actually, Mrs Chen, the official scientific name is Aurora Borealis. Yes, thank you, Arnold. Would you like to join us? Oh, can we? We'd love to, Gareth. I mean, uh, Commander Gareth. But, uh, duty calls. Aww. Aurora Borealis! More like Aurora Bomby to sleepies. What's so great about a bunch of silly lights in the sky? Are you kidding, Norman? It's going to be amazing! This is going to be the dullest science trip ever! Unless... All aboard the intergalactic space rocket! Mandy, Sarah, Hannah, James. Oh, where's Norman? <laughs> Greetings, humanoids. I am Normaxo Brisblax, <laughs> extraterrestrial space alien. Sit down, please, Norman. If you don't hurry up, we'll miss the Northern Lights. Ah, yes, the lights. Those are actually vapor trails from my spaceship. <laughs> Normaxo crash landed in the mountains, then assumed the human form of a handsome young red headed earthling. Ha ha! Very funny, Norman. Hello, Normaxo. I'm humanoid James. <laughs> Greetings, Jams. Oh, don't fall for it, James. It's just Norman wearing tinfoil on his glasses. Normaxo finds this humanoid rude. Normaxo is a ninny. I'm not. R2. Mission Control, this is Commander Gareth. Countdown to launch in five, four, three, two. Oops. Oh. Oops. What do you think? It's amazing. I'm quite impressed, actually. Great, eh? Big and wild. Wild enough for the, the wild, wild men of Ponty Penny. <laughs> we should get a photo. Great idea, Mandy. Everyone gather together in front of the bear. Just wait till the wild men of Newtown see this. Shuffle back, everyone. Right, that's more like it. Now, everyone say, Grrr. Grrr. What the grizzlies? We better call Fireman Sam. We can't. The radio is in the tent. I'll run to the rescue center and call for help. Trevor and I'll get everyone to safety. Come on, kids. 
Oh, I sure hope that fire doesn't spread to the forest. James, you've completed the Fireman's Arm Challenge! Hooray! Oh. Now, I just need to finish this. We're back! Oh. Oh. Uncle Sam, I spotted something else, but it's not in the house. What is it, James? There's a fire on the mountain! That's where the pioneers are. I'd better call the station. There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain. There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain! The forest trails are too small for Jupiter. We'll need to take Venus. Short, too bendy. Good morning, Fibber. Good morning, Station Officer Steel. Too soft. Excuse me? No, no, not you. The banana. No. Uh, yeah. Oh, tea bags. Yes, tea bags. Uh, anybody here? Dillies. Oh, no. Look at it. A complete fandango. Oh, uh, what, what is it? It's supposed to be a passion fruit and pecan pavlova. I promised I'd make it for the fishy fun day. I've tried it three times now, and every time it turns out worse than the last one. Oh, dear. What am I going to do? <laughs> well, young Cridlington may have his faults, but he's a jolly good cook, and I'm sure he'd help you out if I asked him. Really? Wonderful. Oh, Station Officer Steele, you are a real lifesaver. Oh, sorry. I, uh... Oh, I was just... <laughs> okay. Oi, get up! Shoo, shoo! Nasty seagull. I love bouncy castles. Me too. I can bounce higher than anyone. Not higher than me, you can't. But I can, Mandy. You wait and see. Well, nobody's going to be doing any bouncing till I get this unfolded and blown up. Perhaps you two could give me a hand. I bet I can unfold it faster than you. Bet you can't. Good morning, firefighters. Hello, Chief Fire Officer Boyce. Is Station Officer Steele around? He popped out for some tea bags, sir. Uh, can I help? I just came to introduce Penny Morris's replacement for the day. Come in here and meet the watch. Hi, everyone. I'm Jerry Lee. Jerry Lee Cridlington, Elvis's cousin. Oh, this is going to take all day. I'm going as fast as I can. Can't we use an electric pump? Oh, we could. But I lent it to Gareth to blow up his inflatable bouncy steam engine. Don't worry. Shouldn't take me too long. Oh, I forgot the tea bags. Ah. Hello, sir. A pleasure to meet you. I'm. What a... now, Cridlington? Oh. Did you get the tea bag, sir? Cridlington? What? But you. It can't be. You. You. Uh... Well done, you two. Every pavement in Ponty Pandy safely gritted. Splendid. 
Just the driveway to grit now. Uh, this is all we've got left, sir. Oh, dear. Well, we must use whatever grit we have left sparingly. Uh, how do we do that, sir? By applying my maximum cover, minimum grit method. Otherwise known as shaky, shaky, shaky. Shaky, 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 sir. Oh, yes. Now, watch carefully. Shaky, shaky, shaky. 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 Come on, everyone. Shaky, shaky. Don't just stand there. Grab a shovel and join in. OK, the rules are our team has to stop your team hitting this can and our team has to stop your team hitting that can. Oh. Well, that's not going to happen. Ready, steady, go. Fair. It's three against two. No, it's not. It's three against three, Derek. You've got the super penguin on your side. Yes, he does. Oh, no. I cannot believe we are related, Norman Price. Ha! Oh! Ah! Oh. Mike, you'd better hurry up. It's getting dark. Soon the kids won't be able to see what they're doing. <laughs> they will now. Ta-da! Shaky, shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky, shaky. It looks like we've done it, sir. And there's still some grit left. Marvelous. That old shaky, shaky, shaky method works like a word! <laughs> I'm fine! Good job we've got some grit left, sir. Shaky, shaky, son. Shaky, shaky, Ellie. <laughs> That's it! I'm not playing with you anymore, Norman, or that silly penguin! <gasps> Don't listen to him, Pengy! Come on, we'll show them! I've stood up for you. I told everyone you were a super penguin, and all you've done is make me fall over and look stupid. Derek's right. You are a silly penguin. <laughs> you having a bad day, Charlie? I've had better. Maybe we should go for a walk. Okay, Dad. See you later, Tom. Have a good one, mates. And now, oh, for a bit of a relax. Oh. <sighs> Flying a helicopter must be so cool. So cool. Not as cool as steering a fishing boat through a Force 9 gale. Right. So I think if we all hold things like this, we'll look more like volunteer firefighters. Good idea, Trevor. Oh, Maxi the hose. Uh, actually, mate, I think as I'm the chief volunteer firefighter, I should hold the hose. Actually, I'd like to hold the hose. Me too. Who says it's just the men that should hold the hose? No, I, it's actually mine. No, let, let go. No, it's oh. mine. No, let's let's go. Go. It's mine. Let go. Okay, it's Trevor. Mine. Let's let go, Dillis. Good idea, Helen. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Perhaps I should have just gone to the beach today. Oh. oh, no. I don't think I'm in Ponty Pandy anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. OK, Tom, don't panic. Be cool. Use your helicopter pilot training. Think. Uh, swim to shore. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll swim back to shore. But uh, which way is the shore? OK, now, no poses, no brave faces, nothing to hold. Just stand by Jupiter and be yourselves. All right, Sam. Looking great. Now, don't move. Taking it in three, two... Give me back my sausage! No, it's gonna... It's gonna go back! <laughs> Where's Tom? The dinghy's gone. Why would he take the dinghy out in this weather? 
the tides come in past where the boat was. Tom must have fallen asleep and floated out into the fog. Come on, kids. We need to call Fireman Sam. Tom is lost in the fog out at sea. Tom is lost in the fog out at sea. Sorry, volunteers. You'll have to take your own photo. Penny and Ben? Tom is lost. Get Neptune and Titan ready now. Roger that, Sam. Roger that, Sam. Elvis, you come with me. OK, Sam. How's the barbecue going, Trevor? All ready for tonight, Mike. <laughs> You've done a good job fixing that heron. Thank you. Nothing that a dab of super glue couldn't fix. Oh, no. I'm going to need a bit more of that glue. Good work, everyone. Now, James, let's practice the froggy finale. Well done, James. That really was froggy spectacular. <laughs> oh, it's not fair. How come James gets to be the big froggy star? Because James has been reading all about frogs and how they move, Norman. And he's practised for ages dancing in those flippers. It's really hard. Ha! I could do it way better than James. Watch. <laughs> Norman, just be happy to be a normal froggy like us. But I want to be the star of the show. People should be clapping me. Me! Here we go, everyone. All right. First part of the drill, put out the fire with hoses. Roger that, sir. <laughs> ah! Ridlington! Sorry, sir. Maybe you should help Tom with the second part of the drill, Elvis. He's going to pick up water from the sea in that carrier and dump it over the flames. Oh, good idea, Sam. I like going up in the helicopter. Yes, and then you'd be uh, out of the way of uh, Station Officer Steele. <sighs> Soaking wet again. Always happens when Crittlington's about. Can't wait to see the show, eh? Have you heard? James is the star. He's got the big finale. Oh, I bet it'll be spectacular. I'm feeling a bit nervous, Mandy. Don't worry, James. You'll be great. Definitely. You're our top froggy. <laughs> what was that, Norman? Ah, uh, uh, I should be the froggy star. I could easily dance in those flippers. No, you couldn't, Norman Price. But I could... There's only one star in this show, and it's James. He's going to do it brilliantly. <gasps> or maybe he isn't. Get out of that, so-called star of the show. <laughs> That's the first fire out. I have to say it's a lot easier without crittling to the round. <laughs> Interrupt this broadcast to give you an emergency weather warning. Hey, guys, listen to this. A severe snowstorm is headed towards Ponty Pandy and the surrounding areas. That doesn't sound good. I'll call the weather station. And I'll call Sam. I've called everywhere. No one's got any big Christmas trees left. But the whole town is depending on us, Sam. What are we going to do? Um. Yes, Penny? Sam, we've got a severe snowstorm heading our way. OK. Call Moose and get him to check that no one's on the mountains. I'm on my way back. But, Sam, what about the tree? We need to forget about the tree for the moment, Mrs Chen. There's a snowstorm on the way. I'd head home if I were you. Okie dokie, Penny. I'll get my gear and I'll get up there. Snowy. Yeah, really Christmassy. So, where's our magical Christmassy Christmas surprise? 
up there? Because today we are going on a magical sleigh ride! Yeah! Any luck so far, Moose? Nothing so far, Penny. But I'm gonna keep checking. Are we nearly there yet? The sleigh is just up on the next peak. And it's gonna be magical and Christmassy, Grandad. Oh, yes. You're going to love it. It's the most marvelously magnificent sleigh that you will ever, ever see. I wouldn't exactly call that marvelously magnificent. I would call it totally terrible. Oh. But I bet it goes fast. Right, Grandad? It does. You'll soon be going so fast you feel like you're flying. So come on. Jump in! Uh, this doesn't feel very Christmassy yet. Now oh, I've got a splinter in my bottom. Hold tight, everyone. Here we go. Oh, what's a strong wind? Oh, I don't like wind. It looks like a snowstorm's coming. Right, everyone out. <laughs> We need to get back down the mountain. But we can't even see where we're going. And it's getting really c cold. This is the worst Christmassy Christmas surprise ever! Oh! Is that supposed to be me? I don't always wear that awful green outfit, you know. Bum, ba -da -da -da, bum, ba -da -ba -da, dun, dun, dun. Gentlemen, boys and girls and grandads, welcome to the greatest show on earth. Brace yourselves for the breathtaking trapeze act. Ta-da! Trapeze act? That's just a tire swing strung up to the rafters. No, it's not. Wah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Act two! The incredible plate spinning routine. Ta-da! <laughs> oh. Oh. Um. Are they meant to be falling and smashing? Norma, have you seen Auntie Phyllis's good china plate? Um, no, ma'am. This show was going to be spectacular. It will be, I promise. Um, wait till you see my next act. Wild and exotic animal taming. There. A miniature garden at my miniature cottage. Yes. <laughs> now to glue on the flat pole. Careful of the wet. Oh. Paint. Oh, be mini van! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Watch out for me! Ah! Oh, sorry, station officer Steele. Great tangled hoses! My village! Right, team, time to shape up and get serious. Yes, yes station officer Steele. And now, live in the ring before your very eyes. I will tame a wild and exotic lion! Ooh. Behold the ferocious man-eating lion! That's it. I'm going home to play with my stamp collection. But, but you haven't seen Lion do his amazing trick, jumping through the hoop of wonder. Lion, jump! It's easy, you silly cat. Look! Oh, where am I? I'm the worst circus ever. Let's go. There's no hurry, you know. Oh, yes, there is. If I'm going to beat you. That's where you're wrong. You see, long distance paddling is about pacing yourself and enjoying the moment. Hey! <laughs> I enjoyed that moment. Did 
you. Come here. Oh, fantastic posters, Mandy. That should get a lot of people along to see Ben and Hannah. Thanks, Sam. Um, any idea what Norman's doing? He seems to be very quiet. From the Motion Rescue Centre, Linda, to welcome Ben and Hannah home. Oh, and we should say Norman sent you. Ah, not so quiet after all, then. Posters? Is that all? Turn up very loud, are they? From the Motion I'm going to put up some more posters. Um, Sam, my hands are stuck. Don't worry, Mandy. Let's go and unstick them. Look, the northern boy. We're nearly there. Yay! Race you to the boy. Or are we pacing ourselves? <laughs> Not at all. I'm fine. Cool. Well, all we have to do now is paddle back. All we have to do? Are you sure you're okay, Ben? I'm fine. It's just that to go back, we'll be paddling against a really strong current. Not as strong as me. Ponty Bandy, here I come. Me too. Yes, indeedy. Thanks, Sam. I think I'll use sticky tape from now on. Well, hopefully your posters and Norman's shouting will have done their job. I think the posters will have worked better than Norman's shouting. I heard that, Mandy. Actually, this is not shouting. It's an amplified <laughs> Now, that's something you don't hear every day. Are you all right, Norman? I, I, I swallowed that. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. That's okay, Norman. Any sign of Ben and Hannah, Penny? Not yet, Sam. Mind you, the current is quite strong today. That's Ponty Pandy Island. We shouldn't be here. It's the current, Hannah. It's stronger than I thought. It's pushing us away from the mainland. That means we're a really long way off course. Oh, no. Why did all those boxes have to turn up? I've got Trevor coming to dinner tonight, and I wanted everything to look tidy. Now, what's this? Oh, whiffy candles. Just the thing for creating a romantic atmosphere. Lamplight on Flandadno. <sighs> oh, I'm not sure about that. Sunset over Swansea. Oh, smells a bit fishy. Maybe I'll get a better idea if I light them. Now, where are those matches? I'm really not sure about this, Norman. Well, I am. This will be Mr Penguin's new home from now on. as I thought it would be. You think? Your room is totally wrecked and stinks of fish. Maybe you need to get him into some water. The Ponty Pandy pool is nearby. We could take him there. Now! How are we going to get him into the swimming pool without anybody seeing him? What am I going to do with all these boxes? Now, Elvis, I think it might be better if you filled out the hydrant forms this time. OK, Sam. That way, I won't think about that poor, lost, little, waddly penguin. Pressure at 1.7 bar, Elvis. That's all you need to put down, Elvis. 
1.7. Elvis, oh! what are you doing? Oh, uh, I thought I'd do a missing poster of the penguin in case anyone sees him. I'm thinking I'll just remember the 1.7 thing, Sam. Probably a good idea, Penny. Right then, Mr. Penguin. Time for you to get out and enjoy sausages. <gasps> sausages? There are sausages in this box. <gasps> we took the wrong box. So where is Mr. Penguin? So what's it to be? Rainy day in Rill? <sighs> or ocean breeze over Cardiff? <sighs> Oh, I'll use them both. I'll just unpack that box. Then I can go and stuff Trevor's peppers. Oh, no. Oh, Mike, no one's going to stick their head through that if the paint's still wet. But it's me masterpiece. Why don't you just go and get the one you did last year? But I've worked on this for weeks. <gasps> I know. I've got a heater in the back of the van. I'll have a dry in no time. <laughs> oh, oh, uh. <sighs> Won't be long now. It's not fair. You sat in the middle when we went to the zoo. It is so fair. You got to sit in the middle when we went to the fun fair. Anyone want to go on the siren? And you sat in the middle when we went to the seaside. You did. I'll take that as a no, then. Roll up, roll up, eh? Test your strength and win a prize. Hear that, Trevor? Look, you can win me a cuddly toy. Leave it to me, Dillis. <laughs> what? The machine must be broken. Of course it's not broken. Watch! Don't worry, Trev. You can win me a coconut instead. Come on! Let's see if she's dry yet. Oh! No one's ever going to see me masterpiece at this rate. Right, it's time to turn it up to the max. Hey, that'll dry you off, my little beauty. Oh, and just enough time for a quick pizza while I'm waiting. What? What's going on? Oh, bad luck, Trevor. I'll take another ten balls, please, Norman. I have to win something. Oh. Ah. Great tangled houses. What's going on? Ah. Trevor! I'm just trying to win a coconut. Oh. Well, this is intolerable. I'm going to have to move somewhere else. Quiddington, I need your help. I'm going to back up. Tell me when I need to stop. OK, sir. No Norman Price. This should be a quiet day. Cadet day out. I am! But we were at Auntie Phyllis's and those two just kept going on and on about frilly nighty soppy singers and growing gooseberries. But I'm ready now and I can't wait to ride in Wallaby too! Um, Norman, the cadets have already left. What? Mom! Uh, I think I'll be going now. Glad I could, uh, help. <laughs> Bye! <sighs> I'm going to be the only cadet who didn't get to ride in Wallaby 2. Oh, no, you won't, my little treasure. Mummy will get you there. But how? Get in. We are off to the mountain centre, please. <laughs> T 
to double check. We've got cadets Hannah, Sarah, James, Mandy, and my helper, Elvis. Eh? Oh, that's me! <laughs> right, before we start the mountain rescue activities, I need to go over some rules. <laughs> hey, Sam, buddy, look, this is a picture of me up the mountain and then me down the mountain. <clears throat> and, uh, this is me halfway up the mountain. Sorry, Ken. Hey, you know, I think you two need something to do. Cadets, Sam and Moose are going to be the casualties for your first activity. So let's get the stretchers. <laughs> Thanks for that, Moose. Don't worry, my little wonder cadet. We are nearly there. Wallaby 2 is still here. We made it, Mom. I'm here. Where is everybody? That sounds like a helicopter taking off. Come in, Moose. This is Tom Thomas bringing Wallaby 2 to the Mountain Activity Centre to pick up the cadets. Over. Mom, we're supposed to be at the Mountain Activity Centre, not the Mountain Rescue Centre. Uh, uh, come back! <laughs> Don't worry, my angel face. You will ride in that helicopter. I know a shortcut. <gasps> Wally Wizzle faces the evil wizard in a great and epic magical battle. You'll never cast a curse on me, Lord Lizard Face. Oh, yeah? Ice cream has Oh, ah! Spaghetti Lexio! <laughs> oh, Kat! What's so funny now? I'm sorry, Norman. He just doesn't look magical at all. Right! You want magic? I'll show you magic! <laughs> Special effect sparklers! Take this, Lord Lizard Face! Wait, what? <gasps> I think I'd better call Uncle Sam! Hey, guys! Are we all ready to calm down? No, I am not. Hmm. I'm not having any luck turning it off. And Tom's not due back with the proper CD for hours. Listen, you overpriced, oversized bucket of junk. Switch off now, and that's an order. Oh, I'm sorry, Norris. I'm afraid I can't do that. Well, I'll show you. Uh, no, sir, I don't think that's a... Switching to pool party mode. <laughs> Great! Oh, tropical! Oh, oh! A wizard's battle has caused a wildfire in the mountains, and it's spreading quickly. I think it's going to be one of those days. There, all out. Sparklers and dry grass? Not a good mix, Norman. Sorry, Fireman Sam. I was just trying to be extra magical. You know what would be really magical? If you stayed out of trouble for the rest of the day. The final scene will be danger-free, I promise. Well, let's hope so. And now, the big broom flying scene! Pick one! No, Norman. That zip wire is really high up. It's all part of my mega magical special effects. I want this movie to go viral, remember? I want so many hits, I break the internet. The only thing you'll break is your leg. I'll be okay. I am an ace director. Oh, I can't look. Make it stop! Wally Wizzo, Master Wizard, is dangling from a zip wire above the waterfall, hanging upside down by his foot. I should have seen that one coming, really. Hello, you lot. What's going on here? We are a crew of alien bug hunters, and we are collecting lots of different alien insects from all over Pontypandy. 
Ah, I've heard about this. Isn't it one of those crazes that everyone's doing? But, well, we're the only ones doing it in Ponty Pandy. Got it! Got it! Hmm, not sure you are. Wait, there's a... But I bet they don't have a crew like me. I've got a robot. An alien first officer. Ooh. And a starship engineer. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Very impressive, Norman. Quick, let's get to the next bug. We don't want them to get them all before we do. I just got a bit of a signal. Oh, it's gone again. Why do I get the feeling that this is not going to end well? It's not fair. They've got a van. I'm the captain of a crew. I should have a starship. And then we beat them. Warmer. Feel warmer. Ooh, toasty warm. Yes, <laughs> feeling hot, hot, hot. Ah, Sam, just in time. We're doing a search and rescue drill. So far, no one has managed to find my expertly hidden... Oh, da. What? <laughs> Station Officer Steele keeps hiding Dolly, but we keep finding her. We're too clever for him. <laughs> well, we'll see about that, Cridlington. Right, everyone close their eyes and count to 50. This way, crew. We can't go any further, Captain Price. The last bug in our hunt is out there. Oh, they've got a boat. Oh, it's not fair. We'll never beat them now. Think I might just have found my starship, Norman Price. No, Norman. Do you want Charlie and Mike to get all the bugs first and be the champion alien bug hunters of Ponty Pandy? Mm -hmm. No, but what if Ben needs Neptune? He's got Titan. And besides, we'll be back before he's finished his lunch. Hmm, the steering on Neptune is almost the same as on Dad's boat. Take her to warp drive, Engineer Sarah. Ah, ah, I really don't like warp drive. Locking onto Andromeda's system now. Eyes on the skies. If those are the right coordinates, Professor, all we can see is a cloud. Well, it looks very clear further out. Mm, it does. If we could just get a few miles off the coast, we'll be able to lock onto the target. But how would we do that? One of those might do the trick. Perfect. Gather the equipment. Nothing will stop us tonight. Take it up, Penny. Thank you, Fireman Sam. Sorry, Fireman Sam. You two must know how dangerous it is to be out near the cliffs when it's getting dark. We did have torches. The torches won't save you from danger, Norman. Why were you out this late? I think we'd better tell him who we are. Uh, you do it, Norman. <clears throat> we are the y Files, otherwise known as Agent Price and Agent Sparks. Investigators of the mysterious mysteries of Ponty Pandy. We believe that a mysterious group of people are trying to contact aliens. And coordinate an invasion of the Moon Men! Right. We were trying to follow them when Norman got a bit too close to the cliffs. Why is it always my fault? Mainly because it is. Sam, I know you don't believe us, but look, we found this. Hmm. That is a bit odd. You coming back up, Sam? Uh, no, Penny. You go back to the station. I'll make sure the kids get back safely. And maybe help them with their investigation. Yes! We'll take the oars. Hey, Bronnie. OK, Dad. Everyone in. It's a bit of a squeeze. To beyond the clouds! Whoa! Quite a strong tide tonight, Dad. It is, Bronnie. <laughs> it is. Oh, look! A 
mysterious meeting place. It's a beach hut, Norman. A beach hut with a laptop outside, eh? With the moon in the middle of the screen, eh? I have never said this before, but I think Norman might be right. This could be a mysterious meeting place. <laughs> I told you, and I told you. Oh. They are sending signals to the moon men. No, they're not. I know what this is. <gasps> We need to hurry, Sam. It's filling up fast. What about Phoenix? Phoenix would be strong enough, but we'll never get her up here in time. Hmm. There is one other thing that might be strong enough to lift up that submarine. Master 2000. I think it might be at the bottom of the lake, Joe. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Fire in winch now, Sam. Don't worry, Norman. You're safe now. Dangerous thing you did today, Norman. I know. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. But I did get some very good film of you, Penny. Hmm. You won't get round us that easily, Norman Price. No, Norman. I think you're going to be in a lot of trouble when you get home. Oh. But I might have a use for this. Ah! can watch my scary movie all by myself. <laughs> this should keep you nice and warm this winter, Bronwyn, and might stop you catching that nasty winter butt that's going around. <laughs> Too late for that, Sam. Poor old James has already caught it. <laughs> and now, with the perfect antidote to the grey weather, it's One Way Street with Shake Up My Summer Go Go. Oh, I love One Way Street. Wake this song is so catchy. Shake up. It shake is catchy. Up my summer, go, go. Shake, shake up, up my summer go go. go go. Come on, Sam, summer, join in. Uh, this is not really my music, to be honest. Shake up my summer go go. <laughs> Night falls, and that's when the zombies come out. Ha! That's not scary. Norman Price! Ah! What's the matter with you? Um, nothing. I was, um, just watching the World of Spoons Teaspoons special. What a charming little spoon. I need you to go and pick up dinner from the Whole Fish Cafe. You go out there? But, um, I 
I'm sick. <laughs> I I've got a winter bug. <laughs> the only thing you've got, Norman Price, is a bad case of lazy lampitis. Now, off you go. Hi, Sam. Hi, Penny. Guess what? We're having a night duty dance-a-thon. <laughs> Sounds great, Elvis. What are you dancing to? When the sun is nice and hot, come and party on my yacht. Wake, Wake up, shake up, shake up, shake up my summer go, go, go. Go. Oh, it's going to be a long night. Don't scare me, Thunder. Just like that silly zombie movie. Oh, 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 oh James. Phew. For once, it's good to see you. Oh, hi, Norman. Oh, no. You've turned into a zombie. A Ponty Pandy zombie. A Pondy. Stay away from me, Pondy. But With Norman. Hasn't he seen someone with a winter bug before? The bodies are coming! The bodies are coming! Oh, must be the coldest night of winter. I can't wait for summer. When the sun is nice and hot, come and party your my up. Wake up! Shape up! Oh, fine. Norman Price, against my better judgment, you've got the part. Yes! You won't regret it, Station Officer Steele. I've just come back from the theatre, and all the fire buckets are in place. Excellent, Sam. And while you're here, I wanted to ask you if you would play my father in the show, the great Daniel Steele. Oh, sir, um, I thought maybe I might have a smaller part this time around. It would be nice if I wasn't fighting a fire for once. <laughs> Quite right, Sam. You wouldn't want to be typecast. Oh, dear. Well, it does leave me with a bit of a problem. Who can play Daniel Steele? I think Mike is a rather fine actor, sir. What? what? Mike Flood play the heroic Daniel Steele? Me? <gasps> I'd be honoured. But what? No, I... Oh, I suppose so. Well, I must say, this show hasn't got off to the best start. I... I accept this award for best freckles, best redhead, best handsomeness, best glasses, best teeth. OK, final guest rehearsal, Act One, Scene One, from the top, everyone. Help! Help! There is a fire in the coal shed! Cue fire effect! Oh, no, a fire! We'd better call Fireman Sam! No, Mike, I, I'm coal miner number three. You're the heroic firefighter? I am. Um, uh, yes, I mean, I am. <coughs> Stand back, everyone. It is I, Daniel Steele. Cut. You can't call Cat Norman Price. I'm the director. My line is not big enough. Do it again from the top and stick to the script, Norman Price. And quite please, everyone. And action. Help! There's a raging inferno blazing in the old coal shed. Run for your lives! Kiss your families goodbye! Tell my mom I love cut, her! Cut, 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 What, what, what? Norman Price, that is not in the script. Yes, it is. I just wrote it in. You're making a mockery of my childhood. Now, properly this time. And action! Never fear! Norman Mann is here! Cut! What? <laughs> Years ago, a really long time ago. Get on with it, right? I am. Before the days of fancy fire engines and quick, powerful helicopters, a fireman's best friend was his trusty bucket. Pass, 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 pass the bucket to the next one. Pass, 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 pass it to the right. I think that's dry enough now, Elvis. So, this is where the royal party will get out of their car. So the red carpet should start here. But it has to go all the way to the stage. Here! But it has to go all the way to the car, Elvis. 
<gasps> I think we might have shrunk the carpet, Sam. Yes, Elvis, I think we have. Oh, no! It's all right, everyone, I'm here. Um, I've brought the bunting. No need to put the red carpet out for me, Sam. I think it might need a clean now, Sam. Shall we put it back in the sea? Listen up, people. We have ten minutes. Oh, no! We'll never make it across in time for the royal visit. Never say never to the... Royal men are Ponty Pandy! So what exactly are the wild men of Ponty Pandy going to do? Teach us to get our flying badges? No. The wild men will show you how to cross a ravine. There you go. Safe as houses. You'll be back before you know it. It's not the carpet it was, Elvis. No, Sam, it isn't. What? The royal party? I mean, I mean the penguins, uh, whatever they're called. The prince and princess have made an unscheduled stop at Dillis's cut price store. What? Why would they go there? Apparently they've forgotten the little prince's favorite toy and they stopped to see if they can get him something there. So, why are we waiting here? Last one to see the prince is a mouldy potato. Shall we take the red carpet with us, Sam? No, Elvis. I think this carpet's royal days are over. Come on, James! The prince is waiting! Don't look down! Oh, no! I hate... Yep. We know, James. You hate broke bridges across ravines. But you're nearly here. Gotcha! Now it's just me to go. Let me show you lot how it's done. You show him, Big T. What's that sheep doing? What sheep? Um, looks like it's eating the rope. No, 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 no! Go away, sheep! You're not wanted here. Go and eat something Shoes. else. Come on, Tom. You're a wild man. Right. So, let's all get on Trevor's bus. Can I sit next to you, Ellie? Um, of course you can, Norman. But does she have the same qualifications as you, Uncle Sam? Are you sure? Um, would you like a bite of my coffee apple, Ellie? Uh, no thanks, Norman. Right, everybody. Why don't you sing your junior cadet song? Uh, we don't have a junior cadet song. Ooh, that's a shame, Ellie. Maybe you should get one. Oh, that's a good idea, Trevor. Maybe we will. Ready to help me with some wallaby too, chicks, Sam? Certainly am, Tom. Right. You two put the new windsock up while we check over Wallaby 2. Roger that, Sam. Right, Elvis, you unroll the windsock and I'll read the instructions. Why would we need to read the instructions for a sock? I put mine on every morning without any instructions. I put my left foot in the one with an L on it and I put my right foot in the one with an R on it. <laughs> it's always best to read instructions, Elvis. Then you know you're doing it properly. <laughs> Maybe you should have read the instructions about holding on tight to the instructions. <laughs> so, stage one of our outdoor camping training. Can anyone tell me why I built this campfire here? Uh, yeah, Mandy. Because it's not under any trees and it's away from anything it can set fire to. I was going to say that. Well, I said it first. Very good, both of you. Anyone else? Yes, James. Uh, how many actual fires have you put out? Lots, James. I bet she hasn't put out as many fires as Uncle Sam. I'm going to ask him. She's so cool. So who's going to help me demonstrate barbecue safety? No! 
there's no signal. I need to get up somewhere high. Careful, Arnold. It's very windy. I can see that, Elvis. Whoa! Whoa! No! no. Uh, maybe it would be better if you attached the windsock to the bottom of the bowl and pulled it up like a flag. Oh, Sam, that's very clever. Didn't you want the ladder, Arnold? Yes, I did, actually. That's a very fine cauliflower you have there, Dillis. Oh, thank you, Sam. But it's not as impressive as Trevor's beetroot. Thank you, Dillis. But just wait till you see my radishes. Stand back, everyone. <laughs> Have a look at this whopper. How's that for a big brassica? Looks like a cabbage to me. A cabbage is a brassica, Elvis. Well, I must say they all look very impressive. And, oh. There's still one more entry to arrive. I wonder who that is. I can't wait for my dad to see this. He has no idea I've been using his Growmaster 2000. <laughs> if we ever get there, there must be an easier way to move a giant pumpkin. Oh. Hmm. Come, come to, come to Daddy. Yes, come on. Sam, what station oh, officer Steele yes. doing? Come on. <coughs> what? Ow! Oh, oh, yes, it's you, Sam. Yes, hello. Lost something, sir? No, no, I was, um, looking. <sighs> it's James and Sarah's guinea pig. I was supposed to be looking after him, but he's escaped. Oh, no. Norris! Norris, where are you? Norris! Don't worry, sir. We'll help you find him. Thank you, Sam. You keep looking here, and I'm going to get a carrot from the kitchen to tempt him. He might be hungry. Hungry? I think I might know a better place to look. Uh, come on, Elvis. Oh, and uh, grab a shoebox. Tired. Oh, stop complaining. We're nearly at the top. The downhill bit will be easy. This is going to be amazing. We'll be the giant vegetable champions of Ponty Pandy. Oh, no. A marauding mischief maker's been munching on me munch toot. Come on, Elvis. We might have found our man, a uh, pig. I mean, well, rodent. Looks like my onions are OK. You, uh, haven't seen a guinea pig round here, have you, Mike, by any chance? Yes! That furry fella took a nibble out of my best munch toot and then scampered off. Oh, how are we going to find him, Sam? He could be anywhere. Hmm. We need to split up, Elvis, and be very sneaky. You're late! How long I've waited to see this movie. It's a who done it, and I need to find out who did it. It's coming now. Uh, okay, I'm on my way. How old is he? Do you want to come oh, Sorry, Mike, no. can't stop. I've got to go deliver a calf at the farm. I'll need to leave the cat here. I'll pick it up when I collect Hannah. Thanks. Bye. Uh, um, a dad? Norman's waiting to start the movie. Right, Olaf. If anyone needs me, I'll be in my workshop. Wait, what's that smell? Uh, you? No, something really pongs. Oh, it's the cat! Ah, I can't watch the movie with this pong. Just hold your nose. I can't see smell it. <sighs> I like one of my mum's scented candles. She always lights one when Dad takes his shoes off. <laughs> But you shouldn't touch matches. Do you want to smell the cat or a candle that smells of cherry blossom breeze? Cherry blossom breeze, I suppose. Then I have to light the candle. Okay, fine. Then maybe we can actually start this movie. 
I've been pounding the sidewalk for weeks when I got my first clue in the case of the stolen Pensy Ponsonby diamond. Ahem. So, today's job's up. Sorry, sir. As I was saying... Oh, dear! What is that ghastly smell? It's not me. Or me. Ugh, that's just rotten. Oh, Sub! It's you! You still smell like that buggy drain cut! <laughs> hmm, maybe this uniform needs a bit more than a hose down. Well, Miss Mustard Seed, there was only one person with the diamond that night, and it was Colonel. Oh, what? What did he say? Just listen, Norman! I am trying! But I don't think it was that person. I think it was. Lady Oh, I give up! Not only is that the stinkiest cat ever, it's the loudest cat, too! Shush! This is no laughing matter, miss. Uh, Do you have any uh, witnesses? Anyone who can vouch? Whoopsie. There we go. All washed and clean as a... or maybe not. Don't worry, Sam. I have a special way of washing stinky clothes. <coughs> but I think I might need my breathing apparatus for this one. Hello? Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Don't oh. scare very easily, eh? <laughs> Up the trail we go, we go, we go. Ro, 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 Fiddling, ro, please ro, stop singing. I can't. If you're such a good rider, Mandy, why are you being pulled by Hannah? Come on, cowboy. Keep up, eh? Oh, I'm coming. Mandy, are you sure you're okay on the horse? Yeah, I uh, just wanted to get used to the trail. And I am now. Uh, so, uh, you can drop the reins. Great! Now you go on ahead. Uh, I'm going to uh, take a break and uh, feed the horse. Okay, if you're sure. Giddy up. You can do this. Ready? Giddy up. Oh, I said giddy up. Oh, oh. I really don't like horses. <laughs> Moose, Steel, Lizzie, Sarah, and James. Oh, and here comes Norman, who is about to complain. <laughs> My feet are so sore. And here comes Hannah, looking dandy. But where, oh, where is the horse and Mandy? We need to find them. Come on, Lizzie. Prince go this way, and from the look of it, I'd say Mandy and the horse skidded in this direction, all the way over to 